Bucketers for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. If anybody has seen Donnie's awesome video, the thing is, it's not quite as awesome as you think, because if you've ever seen Donnie break, he's a little bit vertically challenged. <laughs> so what may look like a great big loader for him, when I went back and looked at it and checked his size and then went and looked at the loader and got went and rented the very same one, this is what it looks like for a real normal person to happen. My buddy Rusty Cook is going to operate the loader. Anytime, Rusty. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> All right, so now for the break, so much for the break part. For the rest of the ALS challenge, I'm going to bring out, I would like to call it the following people, son-in-law Chris Carpenter, my son Brad Brazier, and then my Kentucky friends, the Vineys. Any or all of you is what I'd like to have in there. So right now, here we go with the challenge. Folks, y'all have got 24 hours once he dumps the bucket. And let her go, Rusty. Now let's get a full funnel up here so we can. Get a man. hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. Each barbecue meat. Each barbecue meat. That is presented to my eyes. That is presented to my eyes. My nose. My nose. My hands. My hands. And my palate. And my palate. I accept my duty. I accept my duty. To be a 14th annual City of Kennesaw Pigs and Peaches Barbecue Festival judge. To be a 14th annual City of Kennesaw Pigs and Peaches Barbecue Festival So the truth. Justice, Justice. Justice. Excellence in barbecue. Excellence in barbecue. In the American way of life. May be strengthened and preserved forever. It was definitely the second one. Delicious, very tender, and uh, just overall beautiful too. I thought number one was very good. Number two was excellent. Drumstick was excellent. Uh, number four was good, and number five was mushy. I found that number one was kind of chewy. Number two was good. The drumstick very excellent. Number four I enjoyed very much and very dry to number five. Okay, my favorite was number four. Um, of all of them, I thought it was the best one cooked. I thought all the others were undercooked. Um, I thought the spice was um, well balanced. Uh, my least favorite was number three. I th thought number three was the meat was very tough and the sauce was very, very sugary. And uh, that's it. I uh, thought they were all overdone except one which was, uh, one, no, all underdone, except uh, one of them was overdone, but the flavor was good. Uh, I preferred the flavors of the first and the second. I think overall they all looked really nice. My favorite was uh, number one. 
uh, have real nice, t nice taste and uh, real nice tenderness. Um, I like number one the best. I thought the rest were undercooked other than number four, which I thought was burnt. I also really enjoyed number one. Um, number three was not bad, but they didn't remove the membrane, and it was literally impossible to bite through. Um, four was so overcooked, it was inedible almost. And... Uh, I actually liked number five. It was undercooked, but I liked the flavor, sp the spice uh, rub that they used a lot. Well, first we want to say thanks to the these five teams for all the efforts they put in and providing us these samples for judging today. Uh, my uh, favorite one was number one, uh, and uh, it had a very good flavor. It. It, it had a little kick on the back end, and the, but it didn't come at you until it was a subtle on the back end. It was uh, done very well. Uh, the same with uh, number four, although uh, the remaining samples, including number four, were sl were overcooked. Uh, there w they needed a little bit more moisture, and uh, they tended to uh, at least samples t three and five a little on the tough side, a little hard to bite through. Um, all in all, all the meats were very good. Uh, number one and number five were my favorite. They both had a uh, great taste, and overall, the uh, texture was pretty good of all the pork. And uh, overall, they were good products. Uh, one through five, I think they were all uh, very tender. Um, three was my favorite. Uh, I could really taste the smoke in it. Uh, it had a, a real nice bite to it. Uh, number five, uh, very tender, nice smoke ring. Uh, Best, uh, my opinion, presentation. What am I doing here? Uh, number five was my favorite. It seemed to have the best texture and, and uh, flavor. Number three was my least favorite. Uh, you couldn't taste the meat for the smoke. You needed a little smoke flavor, but it had way too much smoke flavor to it. 
Overall, it was some good pork. Um, had some very different flavors today. Um, my favorite was number five. Uh, very good uh, flavor to it, good tenderness. Probably my least favorite was three because it had uh, a little bit of overpowering smoke to it and a little bit more fat to it than uh, some of the others. They're fine. you can do about it this point. Well, there may be another piece that ain't already killed before. That would be fine. It'll tighten up a little when it cools off. It's already ripped. What? It's already ripped. How are you going to tighten it up? was my favorite. It was moist, had good flavor to it. Um, definitely very, very tender. Um, the burn in was very flavorful, had a nice little, uh, you could tell you was eating some barbecue brisket. Definitely had beef flavored. Least favorite, I don't remember, probably this guy right here is a little dry, a little tough. Um, but everything else, Brisket, it's a hard, hard piece of meat to cook. It's actually all of them were pretty decent. Yeah, for me, number five was definitely the best. Uh, number one was right there with it also. Um, both of them, both great flavor, just really a great brisket. Um, my least favorite was number three. Uh, it was a little dry, but it had a good pepper taste. Likewise, <clears throat> five was my favorite. Uh, it had uh, great taste, uh, good tenderness, good pull, uh, nice chew. Uh, by far the, the best. This was number two. 
and I think likewise, these two were were tough. They were uh, they were overcooked, and uh, had very little flavor. Number five was my favorite. It was moist and delicious, and it was very attractive in the box. Uh, number one was pretty good. Number three was too salty and tough. I didn't care for that. Yeah, I almost concur. I, I like number one the best. It was tender. I liked the taste. I thought number three was very tough, very salty, and it had a spice in it. And, uh, it was like an afterthought. They try to disguise it with a little bit of a you know, kick. So. I, the large one I thought was going to be uh, very tough, but it turns out they uh, cooked both the flat and, and the other part. It, it was okay, but it was very dry. Well, I had very high expectations on number one. I thought it looked beautiful. I loved the brown color. It was very moist. It was already dried out by the time I finished uh, judging here, but um, the outside had gotten a little overdone and I got a little bit of that char flavor coming through so I had to knock it down a point for that. The second one, um, it was uh, moist, very flavorful, although most of the flavor I was getting was actually from the rub and the sauce. I didn't get as much beef taste. The uh, third one, I thought was a little unappealing. It looked a little gray. Uh, it was very salty and a little tough. The fourth entry was sort of a rough cut, uh, thick sliced uh, presentation. Um, it also, whatever uh, rub or sauce they'd use, it was just way too hot. My favorite one was the last one, number five. I thought it was tender, it had that beefy flavor that I always like in a brisket. Um, the burnt ends were a little tough, but overall it was uh, the best presentation. Thank you.